pretty nice place here. Goddamn thief. How dare you break into my house? You got a nerve? A wife, mister. Oh, so you're a thief on the arms. Huh? What the hell's that gonna do with you? Look at you, you're a cripple. Can't even walk. You should let it be more polite. What's the big idea? What kind of game are you playing at? Oh, I just wanted to go in. I have a look at the place. Don't give me your excuses. You're a criminal just the same. Just because you think it's nice and quiet, you reckon you can steal. But you're wrong there. I'm the law around here. You? Good citizen doesn't need to carry a knife. Hey, I want you. If you keep this up, then I'll... You what? You want to fight? Uh, you? Damn monkey. Stealing all my fruit. Get down from there. Get down, you little bastard. Get down. Get down. You ask for it, I'll teach you a lesson. Now tell me your name. That is if you got one, you bastard. Yeah, sure I have. I'm Tai Chang. Trying to ruin me? Uh, 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 uh. Shoshan, come here, come here. Kneel down. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> oh, is that all? They could say sorry. I'm warning you. You better fix this roof before you go. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll fix it for you. Better have something to eat first before you work.
Goddamn monkey, I'll kill you! Why are you hitting him? Why to hit him? Ask him yourself! <coughs> just piss him ahead! What's that? How can I ask him? He can't talk, you know. All right, just get out. All right, I'm gone. You don't have to tell me. Just to remember, you invited me to stay here. I didn't want to. Sergeant, let's go. Quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, I have called this meeting here today to discuss something I think important to us all. I'm going to ask our elder Mr. Chang to talk more. He'll give you all the details. Please, Mr. Chang. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a cruel war rages all around this town. We should be grateful to Mayor Lou, we've avoided it. Yes. That they can't last forever, soon the war will come here. But we have General Chang leading the army. He's a brave man. He likes to serve the people. The army's strong. Victory will be ours very soon. Now I propose we select a representative among us and you make contact with the army and ask them to come here to prevent the warlord from raiding our town. I fear yes. we may be too late. We must vote on this at once. Yes, yes let's vote now. Yes, yes, that's the way I understand yes. it. Yes. Yes. Of course, that's just the way. What's going on? Mr. Yes. why don't you yes. tell them what we yes. think? <laughs> right. <laughs> Mr. Chang! Now, I think everybody's in agreement with what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my friends, uh, Mr. Chang's suggestion is a sensible one. And I agree he would make an excellent representative for us. He can put our case to the Revolutionary Army. Round of applause. If you really want me, I'm happy to do it. I also propose that we give money. Here is a box for donations. And as a token of my sincerity, I'll donate my house and all my property. Oh, well done. Yeah. Yes, that's good. We should all donate. It something. doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. Yes, 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 yes. Must come first. We must support our army. Everybody give. So give what you can afford. All donations will be gratefully received. Come on then. Come on, gentlemen, just give what you can. That's the idea. Come on, give what you can. Everybody. You're not from around. So what are you doing? Giving money. Everybody donates. Why well, old soldiers cut my arms off? Come on, that happened? What? Sasan? 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 <laughs> you bastard. How dare you steal people's food? Here, come with me. God damn it. Chang gave a lot of money. Cunning old bastard. He even donated all his property. He's just trying to show us up. Master, you must be careful. People respect Chang. I reckon... Nonsense! That old fool isn't any threat to me. That's right, Master. He couldn't do you any damage. Hmm. He's still better out of the way. All right. Ming Wei. Yes, sir. You collect the two cases of guns? Yes, I have. The warlord's sending some men tomorrow. Make sure you and Xiao Long hand over the guns to them with this note. Listen, don't make any mistakes. Yes, sir. 
Carlo, you yes. know the place, same rendezvous point? Yes. Huh. Both sides are going to need guns. This is an excellent opportunity to make some money. <laughs> details to you. You can work it out. Hm? My master's traitor. I know he is in league with the warlord. What am I going to do? She ran away. Yes, sir. Come with me. So it's you. I don't give a damn who it is. What the hell are you doing here? You don't understand. I had to help a girl. She needed shelter. Lady, you tell him to come? Hey, no need to be shy. Just tell me. You ask him. Hey, you idiot. She's unconscious. Lady. You bastard. You're worse than I thought. I suppose you drugged the poor woman. All uh, right, don't explain. What do you think I run here, a hotel? You can walk any time. Uh, you bastard. Watch it. I'm warning you. If you're on the run, don't think you can hide here with me. Especially after what you did to her. I'm warning you, too. 
If you keep this up, I'll never forgive you. Look at the poor girl. Huh? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You! You want to fight? Now listen here. I didn't come here to fight you. I saw a girl was being chased by thugs, so I thought I'd bring her here. Who was after her? How should I know? Who is the girl? I don't know. She looks in pretty bad shape to me. She needs a doctor. Suffered a serious injury to her throat. She had lime thrown in her eyes, so temporarily she is blind. However, I'm confident she'll recover. <laughs> you got any money? What for? I've got to pay the doctor something. Don't have a cent. Here. Oh. Oh, good, huh? Lady, I'm gonna need to rest your eyes. Oh, come now, listen. You're hurt bad. Your eyes must be kept closed. They mustn't see any light at all. You just need bed rest. Hey, doctor. Oh, the there's bill. no need. Oh, you wanted you to take it. Come on. Uh, Come on. No, you must please. take it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Lady, you all right? You Lady. okay? Yes, I'm fine. All right. Tell me, what's your name? My name? I'm Achun. Why were those bandits after you like that? <laughs> you know why they do this to you? You any idea who those men are? Please, I beg you, don't ask me any more questions about this. You must be very hungry, ma'am. You need something to eat, I'll fix you some. First, I'd like to take a bath. I feel so dirty. Of course. I'll get you some hot water. These clothes belong to my sister. Your sister? She's been dead for some years. How did she die? From disease. She was still young. About your age, I guess. Try them on. Do they fit? All right. Thanks a lot. you and I make a deal. I won't tell our chun you don't have any arms. As long as you don't tell our chun that I'm a cripple. Okay. It's a deal. Fine. It's settled. <laughs> hey, remember you won't be able to shake hands or she's gonna find out. Hmm. Ah! 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 Where are my clothes? Ah! Where are my clothes gone? Someone's stealing my clothes! Chasha, what are you doing? Bring those clothes back right now! I know what your game is. Chasha! Come on, let's eat supper. Have some chicken. Thank you. Uh, 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 
Wash Elm has given you some chicken, too. Uh, thank you. Uh, why don't you eat, too? What you want? The warlord soldiers. Bastards. Stole all our money. Oh. Raped our daughters. They're animals. They're worse than the bandits. We're lucky to be alive. They let us leave. They're all starving. We haven't had any food for two days. Oh, oh. 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 well, comrades, I, I propose we help yes. these poor people. Yes. Uh, let's, yes. let's make a collection yes. for them. Yes. Right. Yes. See what we can. Yeah, we're all agreed. We make a contribution. Everybody, a give generously. We're lucky to be alive. We're grateful for anything we get. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, wait, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you. This take is all it. that we have, please. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Go on, give it to them, go on. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, please. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank Come on, this way. You're very kind. Oh. Oh. Here's all the money we collected today. Although we're poor, your need is greater than ours. Oh, don't worry, please, take it. Oh, thank, oh, you. thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very all right, much. sir, don't mention it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mr. Mister, but you two. Oh, never mind. I don't care. We'll do another show. Hey. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I hope you'll find this yes. money useful for Surely, the show. Uh, uh, make way for them. Uh, 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 let them be. They've had a long journey. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, good luck to you. Good luck to you. We haven't got a cent for me, do. We can't let our children starve. We must get us some food. Watch out. 
can't just stand here doing nothing. Otherwise, you'll starve to death. Why don't you come up with an idea? I can't. I know you find it too much of a strain. Oh, seems like you got an idea, though. Of course. Look here. Oh, you must have stolen that. Shh, speak softly. I only did it for her. I never steal otherwise. Oh, never mind. We're both the same. Huh? <laughs> oh, so you're a thief too, huh? Shh. <laughs> Look. Hmm? All right, come on. Move it along. Right. Looks like they're up to no good. What do you say? Shall we take them all on? Uh, I'd like to. Your game, so am I. Come on. Okay. What's up? Is he gonna make trouble? Sir, sir. You go home now. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Send me to collect the supplies. All right, everything's here. You want to check? Shot on. Oh, thank you. Here's a letter as well from our master. See, it's delivered. Quick, quick, come on. Oh, where are we going now? Yes, we gotta get come back. On. Goodbye, come bye. Come bye. See you. Uh, let me check it. What are we going to do with it? Easy. Give it to the Revolutionary Army. Hmm. Hi, John. Come on, eat up. You've got to eat yours, too. I've eaten mine. Uh, and I've eaten mine. Go on, you come here. Get out. The food isn't for yeah, you, monkey. But you haven't eaten yet. We ate already. Yes, we have. I know. You haven't eaten yet. Don't try to fool me. We're not fooling. Uh, we ate Washer. already. Wash you. I'm a poor girl who has got nowhere to stay. If it were for you taking care of me, I've no idea what would have happened to me. You've been so kind. I don't come from a rich family. But I hope we can stay together and help each other. So, from now on, enough. No more deceiving me. Okay? No more deceiving. We will tell you everything. <laughs> Wash
Wash your young? Shy, shy. Wash your young? All right. I know you're hungry too. you walking? It's not far. Why is the car? Uh, you, you see, it's because two days ago I hurt my legs, so I can't walk, you see? <laughs> That's not true. I know you. Uh, oh, I'm warning you. If you tell, so will I. Oh, I just meant the reason you don't walk is because you're too lazy to walk. <laughs> Let's talk in the house. Uh, Come on. Look here, what's going on? Wash you? This is for you. Uh, what is it? Well, I'll blend and feel it. Uh, uh, I know what it is. It's a handkerchief. Aren't I right? No, it didn't cost much. Hope you're gonna like it. <laughs> Anything you give me will be fine. Thank you. I know girls like hack and cheese, but there were so many. <laughs> Took me a long time before I chose that one. Huh? Who gave you that? <laughs> Brother Taishan gave it to me. What's this? Uh, uh, no. Nothing? You're so happy singing and dancing. Something's happened. Uh, it's because Washung gave me a handkerchief. Where is he? Uh, I thought he was here. I'm here. Hey, oh. What's the big idea? God damn it. We agreed we had an equal chance. No going behind the back, but you have to be sneaky. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. You gave her a handkerchief. <laughs> How do you know? I saw it when I gave her my handkerchief. It's no use denying it. Oh. You can give her something? Why can't I? Because I say you can, that's why. Watch him. You listen here. You're a guest in my house. You don't like the house rules, you're welcome to go. Just like that. And leave you alone with our chun. Forget it. Shh. Oh. oh, you want another fight, do you? All right. What are you doing now? Ah, oh, we're only we're practicing. practicing. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> what is it? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Don't be scared. She can't see you. <laughs> Are you certain? Absolutely. Tonight, take some men with you and kill that girl. Sir. But sir, what you trying to do now? Actually, I have nothing to do. So I thought I'd use this material to make you both some clothes. Here, Tasha, let me measure you up first. Sizes are just the same. I'm sure that's rare. Two men the same sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Got away. Here. Easy. <laughs> Archer, what's this all about? What do they want to kill you for? When father died, my mother brought me up all on her own. When I was eight, the war broke out again. My mother and I, we were parted. I was sold to the mayor as a servant. Recently, I discovered, by accident, the mayor was dealing with the warlord. They were afraid I would talk. So, they tried to kill me. Last time, Washington saved my life. But this time, they found out where I was and came after me again. They're devils. That bastard mayor. I'm gonna have a talk with that man. Right. 
Well, what can I do for you? We've come here for an answer. Why'd you send some thugs to knock down my house? Eh? What are you talking about? It's been some mistake. Eh? Let's cut out the nonsense. We want an answer. What kind of game are you playing? Ah, uh, we can talk more later on. Uh, but for now, you're my guests. It's my duty to treat you with hospitality. Here, mm -hmm. let's drink a toast. Yes, cheers, <laughs> cheers to your good health. Let's drink. Yeah. Cheers. Raise your glass. Oh, I'm cheers. sorry, but I don't drink. Come on, please. I don't Have drink. Have another one. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get straight to the point. I'm a straightforward kind of man. <laughs> I don't like fooling around, and I always keep my word. I'm not hiding anything from you. And... Yeah. Play straight, too. I always keep my word. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear it. Uh, uh, I know that you are harboring the girl, the one called Archer. Oh, what do you mean? I saved her life. She was nearly beaten to death. <laughs> That was most unfortunate. But now you can hand her back. You've done your duty. I'll see you're rewarded. <laughs> oh, man, what is our reward? Lots of money. <laughs> wow. $500. If you hand her over, there's even more where that came from. <laughs> But, uh, Mary, that's five hundred dollars, which I assume is my share, doesn't include my brother. Uh, all right, but, uh, This money is just for my brother. No, what about my share, huh? <laughs> ah. All right, that's fair enough. <laughs> Very good. And thank you very much for the meal. But we're leaving. Oh, oh, man, man, don't worry. Hey, we're going to get you, huh? Come on. Stop it. Damn it. My friend, this thousand dollars is donated by the mayor. Huh? By the mayor? But that's impossible. He's so generous of us. Oh, oh, here he is. <laughs> The girl. But what about the monkey? That kill it. <laughs> Beat it to death. <laughs> you think you're very smart. Naturally. This time, the male's gonna be real mad. <laughs> He'll be sending his thugs after us soon. Right. I'm worried about it. You needn't worry. All right, we better get back home quickly. Hmm. Archon will be waiting for it. Archon! Archon! We're back! We're back! Come on! Archon! Archon! Sarshan! 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 Let's go home now. Let me take you home. Leave it. Don't bother him now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Smart. Bastard. Go to hell's in this grave. I'm talking to you, numbskull. Are you deaf? Monkey. Huh? What do you say? Monkey. <laughs> you call me a monkey? Why should I call you that? Did you just say I was a monkey? My monkey's grave. You asked who's buried here. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it now. It's because you've no hands. And because you've got no hands, you can't feed yourself. Instead, you're lying on the monkey to help you eat your food. But the monkey's now dead, so you face a serious risk of starvation. You're a smart man. When compared to my monkey, you're just dumb. Huh? Hold it. You may not have any arms. I must say, you got a lot of guts. <laughs> if you ask me, you've got a very hot temper, and you're very stupid. Huh? Uh-huh. So you know some gung fu. Don't find out my monkey's grave. Come on, we'll go elsewhere. All right. Anywhere. Plenty of guts. got no arms, and you've got no legs. I must say, you make a really odd couple. <laughs> Come back, Chard. I've got some urgent business. I've better things to do than fight you. Well, that warlord's a bandit. Pull in, man. Major Chard. Uh, Captain Lapp, I don't think we should be seen together. We shouldn't let the townsfolk know that we have an arrangement. Yes, sir. Who the hell are you? You don't have permission to come here. Please forgive them. Uh, all right, you can all go now. Uh, yeah. Come on. Uh, the fools didn't recognize you. They didn't recognize the famous Major Chow. Uh, please, come in. Uh, is it done? Uh, you asked me here, what for? Yes, I did ask you. Because it's a matter of some urgency. Uh, or I wouldn't disturb you. Hmm. 
One of my servants has found out about our little arrangement over the rifles. And when I tried to see that the girl was got rid of, she managed to escape. At the moment, she's protected by two cripples. But they're no fools. One's got no arms, the other's no legs. But their kung fu's extremely skilled. They defeated my men every time I sent them out. There's another matter, too. One of the town elders, a Mr. Chan, who is widely respected, has been elected to meet the Revolutionary Army. <laughs> Don't you have a brother who's living somewhere near here? Why don't you let him deal with it? Watch this. Try to run away. <laughs> ah, you're asking for it. <laughs> You cripples again. Huh. You really asked for it this time. We aren't afraid. We fight for justice for the people. <laughs> right. We aren't afraid of being killed. Okay. Better stop saying your prayers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
cunning bastard trying to check me, were you? <laughs> Man like you, you've done too many crimes. Now I'm going to make you pay. <laughs> you sure have got a big mouth. Why do you know? Think you can kill me? Who the hell do you think you are? You're not Bruce Lee. I can see that. Huh. You're just two lousy cripples. He's asking to be killed. Huh. Huh. You're asking to be killed. Huh. My friend, what are you doing down on the ground? Get on your feet. Try to trick on me again, dear. the cripple now. Hey, let's see how you like it trying to walk properly, you cripple. <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay. Come on. How do you die? How do I die? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this guy's lost his marble. You're one of the world's paid lackeys. You better say your prayers because you aren't going to be seeing your boss again. <laughs> Brilliant idea.
Well, Hush, Lionel. Hurry. Hush, Lionel. But I got a feeling trouble is coming. You better take our turn off to hide. Go on. Okay. Quickly. Come on. Take her off. Quick. You be careful. Come on. Come on, man, over here. This is the place. Here's the place. There it is. Tell me, what is it you want? Elder Chang and his family are dead. We were told that you two had murdered them. Huh? We can never do such an evil thing. Who believes you? Search the house. Right, hey, come on, man. No, no. Hey, you hey, go hey, hey, come, come on, man, over here. Hey, no, no, no. Come on, there. Come on, Stay away. Open that up. Hey, over there. I'm warning you. Under the bed. I'm warning you. Everybody. You've got no right to search here. Unless you've got a search warrant. Come on, search. search. What are you opening my back for? Over there. What do you want from us? Keep your mouth shut. Under uh -huh. the bed. Look everywhere. Right. Come on, man. On the roof. Here. Right here. Round the back. Hey, this is my house. What are you doing here? Keep searching, man. Under the bed. Come on. Hey. Everywhere. Come on now. Hey, I found it! Hey, he's uh, burning! Of course, no one no, jewelry! No, thanks. Look at that! Where'd you get Where did you get it? You stole it. Yeah, I must have stolen it. Hey, that isn't mine! Yeah, of course it isn't mine. yours! But I'm asking you where you stole it from, eh? Yeah, well, how dare you accuse us of stealing? Maybe. You stole it when you were asleep, eh? Hey! I recognize this belongs to Mr. Ching! Really? Yeah! yeah. So they did. Yeah, well, you were sure of that? Yes, yeah, swear to it! I know it well. Uh, I guess we're going to have to touch right. it. Oh, they're not going to confess it. Get out of the 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 Get you're lying! Beat them! Beat them! Stop it! Stop beating them! Hey, who's that? Hey, who is it? It's the servant of the mayor. It's our church. It's our church. What's she doing here? Yeah. Right. I'm our church. I had to run away from the mayor's house because I saw the mayor and his men smuggling guns to the warlord. I also, the I overheard the mayor say he wanted to get rid of Mr. Chang as a favor to the warlord. So, the mayor tried to kill me to shut me up, but Tai Chang and Hua Chen Yong saved me. We've been together these few days, so I'm sure Mr. Chang must have been killed by others. Hey, oh, who's been killing us? What about this lot here? What about you? Hey, did you do it? Hey, 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 uh, 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 uh. I think you better tell the truth. Uh, beat yeah, them up! Beat them up! Uh, Come on! Beat yes. them up! Uh, make them talk. Yes, I'll talk. Why hasn't your brother showed up yet? Doesn't make any difference now. Do you mean that? I just received new orders. Our headquarters is going to move soon. Oh? Why is that? Because we're outnumbered. I have no alternative but to retreat. Are you leaving immediately? I've got to hurry. Also, I've been ordered to collect all the money there is in this town. Oh, yours too. Everybody will have to contribute. Uh, me? That's right. Your money. After all, you've made quite a profit. It's only fair we now get a little of it back. I'll give you half an hour to think it over. If you still refuse, then you won't like what'll happen. Oh. Bast. Quickly, take all the guns that we have got stored down in the cellar. Give them to the men. Listen, be sure you don't let the warlord know about it. Right. How about it? You made up your mind. Uh, Major, I've thought it over, uh, but I'm afraid I cannot agree to it. I've decided that you and your men are to leave town immediately. How dare you dictate terms to me? <laughs> I do dare. Oh, your gun doesn't work. Really? All right, men. 
Do you have anything else to say? Your rivals don't scare a soldier like me. <laughs> no matter how good you are at Kung Fu, you can't escape a bullet. That depends on who has got all the bullets. They might be working for me. Master, we're in real danger. Everyone's saying you've been dealing with a warlord, and you killed Chang and his family, and now they found a Morgan coming to get you. Major, I'll promise whatever you ask, but you've got to protect me. Huh? All right. When my soldiers are ready, we will go outside. I'll force the townspeople to hand over those two. Either they deliver us, the two cripples, or my men open fire. Why did you have to kill Chang and his family? You're a traitor! Tell us! Why do you do it? You don't want to do it! Listen! 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 If Lau's guilty of all these crimes, I'll hand him over myself. Yeah, well, hand him over. He means nothing to me. As representative of the warlord, I have to announce this town is under martial law with immediate effect. Come out. And now, I'm going to give you just 24 hours for you to hand over those two criminal cripples, bound hand and foot. If you don't hand them over, then I'll kill everyone, men and women. Thanks a lot. She's getting better. Don't worry. Any day now, she should get her sight back. Oh, thank thank you. you. You're welcome. Doctor, could we uh, wait a bit before we pay? Oh, of course, and if you can't afford it, don't bother. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Uh, oh. Things are going badly in town. I'm afraid the warlord's men have control. They've killed the mayor. And now they threaten to kill us all by tomorrow, unless we hand you two over. It's a hard choice. I'm sure they mean well. But they're talking first before they make a decision. They haven't made up their minds yet. But I think you two had better get far away from here. We can't just go away. We better see what's going on. Tai Chen, don't you agree? Mustn't let Ah Chun know, or she'll be worried. All right, I know. Oh, All right, gentlemen. We have got to come to a decision. What are we going to do? Yeah, well, what are we going to do? I don't know. If we hand them over, as they request, then the soldiers will go. Yeah, they'll all go. I object. Yeah, huh? I know that both of them are badly crippled, but they are both decent men. They're patriots. Mm. What's more, 
They've already wronged them. Yeah. If we do just hand them over to the warlords, men, we should all be ashamed of this. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen, gentlemen. If we refuse, the soldiers are going to massacre everybody. Yeah, that's Who right. cares? I'm not afraid of being killed. Yeah, oh, 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 you go. Don't you see what's happening? People are being forced to hand us over to them, evil bastards. We must be united. Uh, but they're too afraid. No. If they have a leader, we'll fight back. We can give them courage. We could take on the soldiers and drive them off. Okay, we'll both go in tomorrow. <laughs> what? Just walk in there and get killed? But uh, if we both die, we'll look out for our children. Tai Chang. I know you're fond of our children. So I'll go in tomorrow. You stay here and look after it. No, I don't want to stay. God damn it. Why do you always fight over her? This time you can have her. Instead, you don't want her. If I stay behind, she'll think I'm a coward. Besides, you'll like her chum too. Why don't you stay and I'll go? I don't have any arms. Our chum won't like me. And I got no legs. Our chum isn't gonna like me either. We we'll both agree, one of them will stay behind. You take one. Whoever gets the long one, go. I'm the long one. You stay. <laughs> what are you going to tell our children after? Uh, tell our children I got to go away. There's no choice. I'll have to lie. What's the matter with you? I'm only going to see an old aunt in the next county. I'm not going to be gone for long. Hi, Chang. Look after her, Chun. You hear? Don't let her out of your sight. Don't worry. I will. She's safe with me. Why are you both trying to fool me? I know very well you're going on a mission which is extremely dangerous. I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to repay you. What on earth has happened to you? Take <laughs> Just because you're off on your own, don't think you can go and join yourself. I don't want you going to the nearest brothel, you know. Oh, what are you talking about? Huh? Where are you going? For a bath. Bandages gone. Here, I'll help you. I can walk myself. Be careful. Where's 
Was hij jong? Uh, niet uit zijn. Matilda, what's happened to you? Tijak, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. You've done nothing. What's Archon upset about? Why not ask her? Archon, was Tijak pulling you? Was he? Archon, what's wrong with your eyes? You sure you're feeling okay? Why don't you open your eyes if you can? Open them. Archon? You gone crazy? If our chum can see, you'll scare her to death. She still isn't better. She can't see. Put your clothes on. Even though one has no arms and one has no legs, they have both got noble hearts. They're men of honor. Tai Xiao, Hua Xiyong, in my eyes, you're both wonderful. I want to stay with you both forever. I don't want to have any other friends. On the soldiers. Pull out the firing pens. I'll come with you. No. You have to rest now. Get plenty of sleep. Tomorrow, we depend on you. Daishan, promise me you'll take care. And the circumstances have changed. For a dead man, you sure know how to talk. But you've wasted enough of my time already. Huh? Oh, huh? Hey, what's going on? Open fire! <laughs> Last night, my brother paid you a midnight visit and helped himself to your firing pins. Huh? I don't think that guns are going to be firing any bullets. The guns are useless. Don't be scared of them. Ah, oh, don't be afraid of the guns. Hey! 
Uh, 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 uh,